on the outside of my pitched roof in the faulted living space, I'm installing 80 millimeters Gutex Multitherm on the outside of the roof. Gutex Multitherm is an, uh, an excellent insulation, but it also has very high heat storage capacity, so it'll help insulate in winter and also help prevent overheating in summer. Acoustically, it is a very high density, and with the tongue groove interconnection, this gives a very inherent wind tight layer on the outside of my rafter. Beneath the Gutex multi-term, I'll have a 220 millimeter rafter fully filled with blown Gutex thermofiber insulation. And then on the inside of that, I'll have an air tightness layer, which I'll explain later on on the inside of my rafter line. So in this part of the roof, this will be a fully warm roof with insulation both on the outside and on the between the rafters. And the U-value of the overall roof will be about 0.11 watts per meter squared degree Kelvin. Gutex multi-term can be used on the outside of walls and roofs. When it's used on a pitched roof like this, it must be covered with a suitable breathable roofing membrane. So the process on this roof is to apply the Gutex multi-term. The people from TimberTech Timberframe are installing it at the moment. Then Proclima Solitex Plus Connect will be fitted on top of this. Sol Solitex Plus Connect is very vapour open but a, a, extremely wind tight with a very high tensile strength due to the reinforcement netting in it. But it also features an integrated tape. So we can see on every overlapping this pre-applied tape gives a, a, an extremely high wind tightness. So all laps are inherently sealed pressed and then it gives an extremely high level of wind tightness on the overlappings. Instead of having to tape overlaps for wind tightness, this greatly speeds up the process and makes it much more economical. So after this membrane is fitted, the Gutex is then fastened into position through a batten. So after the Solitex U Plus Connect is installed, a screw, a Hico screw has been used, which are these engineered screws. And this will fasten through the batten, through the Gutex, and into the rafter below. So the first screw is applied about 150 millimeters off the end grain at 90 degrees to the rafter. Then the next screw is applied another 150 millimeters above this where we take this template and this is called a shear screw and this is inserted at an angle of 30 degrees to the rafter and this allows you to insert the screw at this angle which reduces the shear load on the insulation and then this process is repeated throughout the roof so you have a suction screw a shear screw suction and shear at approximately one meter centers, depending on the location it's been fitted on the roof and depending on the calculation for the screw fixings.